Judicial Watch getting ready to release information and research indicating nearly 800,000 inactive voters are on Illinois' voter rolls. What does that mean exactly? And uh, what kind of news did they release on Friday when it comes to Illinois elections? Good morning, Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY. Springfield's News and Talk. Let's go ahead and head over to Judicial Watch's website where they say that uh, they got a victory. Illinois settles voter roll lawsuit and agrees to make voter registration list public. So um, today, Friday, it was announced that uh, federal election integrity lawsuits on behalf of the Illinois Conservative Union against the state of Illinois, the Illinois State Board of Education, and its director, which grants access to the current centralized statewide list of registered voters for the state the past 15 elections. Think about that. The past 15 elections, those have to be uh, offered up now. Uh, so ultimately what, what happened here was the state of Illinois said that, yeah, you can inspect these records. You got to come to Springfield to inspect the records, but only during certain uh, set of time. They were not making the documents and the records available for public inspection via electronic means. However, Friday's ruling ultimately means that uh, digital copies of voter rolls from 15 election cycles here in Illinois are going to be made available to the plaintiffs in this case. Uh, ultimately, that uh, it's going to include a registrant's full name, residential street address, email address, telephone number, county and state voter identification number, age of the registrant and the registrant's status, active or inactive. In the most recent dates, the entry was changed. Changed. Now, uh, Tom Fenton, he is the founder of Judicial Watch. He said uh, clear voter rolls mean cleaner elections. And he goes on to say that uh, this is a victory for all legal voters in Illinois. Voters will have the transparency federal law requires in order to ensure elections in Illinois are uh, more honest and cleaner. So uh, I, I reached out to State Representative Brad Halbrook uh, to get his take on what this ultimately means. Uh, and he shared with us uh, his thoughts of the initial statement here of uh, these voter rolls being made public, uh, especially through electronic inspection. Yeah, so uh, it's a great day. The decision that's been handed down here uh, for openness and transparency and, and attempting to restore faith in the voter system for the legal voters of the state of Illinois. And I asked Hal Brook uh, to elaborate a bit on that, especially with uh, having access to those 15 different cycles of Illinois elections. What does that ultimately mean for transparency? Well, transparency, when we're involving the government in anything, it's got to be crucial and is, in a, and is key. Uh, so if if there's an effort to kind of restrict or suppress that transparency, that just throws up some um, red flags. So I think to restore faith in the system with the voters, this level of transparency will go a long ways. So uh, State Representative Brad Halbrook there uh, responding to the, uh, the, the Friday statements that uh, individuals are going to be able to access up to 15 election cycles of voting data. Now, um, what's interesting here, too, is uh, Judicial Watch just didn't announce that particular uh, settlement with the state of Illinois. They also announced a forthcoming Judicial Watch study based on recent census data and information Illinois reported to the Federal Election Assistance Commission reveals 14% of Illinois' counties have more registered voters than citizens over the age of 18. Think about that. 14% of Illinois' counties have more registered voters than citizens over the age of 18, while Illinois as a whole has close to 800,000 inactive registrants. 800,000 inactive registrants. What does that mean? Well, uh, State Representative Brad Halbrook uh, responding to that number. Well, those numbers alone are staggering, and you know, I, I didn't, I don't know if they knew, you know, kind of had an idea that it would be like that. But those are staggering numbers, and the very reason why we need the openness and transparency in an effort to clean up these voter rolls 
uh, again, just another step to try to restore faith in the system, the election system for the for the voters of Illinois. Now, a lot of times if you uh, question an election outcome, uh, if you're a Republican, you get called an election denier. If you're a Democrat in 2016, uh, the mainstream media hops on your bandwagon and continues a story of Trump-Russia collusion without any merits, and they're throwing out all kinds of dots to try to have those dots connected, but they never were connected. Uh, but, you know, you could see how the, the double standard here, right? Uh, people who have concerns about election outcomes uh, get labeled a certain way uh, on one side of the uh, the aisle, but uh, labeled another way on the other side of the aisle. So all this does Friday, what was announced was they're just going to open up the voter rolls to make sure and this is something Judicial Watch does across the country. They want to make sure that there are clean voter rolls and not these uh, hangers on, right? These inactive registrants, which could open up the door for the possibility of uh, some, some nefarious actions taking place. Judicial Watch also knows that they have pending litigation challenging Illinois' weeks-long election process, arguing that federal elections should be decided on election day, not weeks after the fact. Brad Halbrook uh, asked him for some of his final thoughts on this entire situation. Well, whether this would open itself up for fraud, um, many believe that fraud already exists. Okay, so... In, in any time government's involved in anything, we believe that openness and transparency and sunshine is the best cure and is the best medicine. So I think this is a positive step to root out the fraud and the corruption that goes on in the election system. Um, my additional thoughts is that the voter registration, uh, the election system in Illinois has to be reformed dramatically to continue to go down the same road year after year that the Illinois General Assembly is going down has to change. These 40 days prior to election day, uh, vote by mail, um, early voting, you know, ballots can be counted up to 14 days, the potential with ranked choice voting on the horizon, all this stuff is not good for clean and fair elections and has to be reformed. So, again, that's uh, State Representative Brad Halbrook talking about the s statement released by Judicial Watch on Friday saying that uh, the Illinois Conservative Union and some registered voters are going to get access to 15 election cycles worth of voter rolls from across the state uh, to uh, to go through and to, to evaluate uh, the, uh, I guess, uh, 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 integrity of the, the voter rolls. And uh, commenter on uh, YouTube says, congratulations to Carol Davis uh, in all her hard work, citizen activism at work. We're actually going to be connecting with Carol a little bit later on this morning to discuss this even further and what she's looking for in this voter roll data. So uh, be looking forward to that. That'll come up after 8 o'clock this morning live. But of course, you can catch all interviews and various topics anytime you need to. Just uh, follow me online, Bishop on Air on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Uh, you can find uh, interview segments there. Again, just search Bishop on Air uh, and we can connect that way. It is Springfield's Morning News. I'm Greg Bishop on 92.7 WMAY, Springfield's News and Talk.